What's up my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and News. Posted a video yesterday about some of the ladies from the Real Housewives of Atlanta having a great time. And even though they were blasting music and it was incredible, I couldn't really play any of the original audio because of the music in the background. And you know, most of the songs have, you know, copyrights and all of that on it. And if I allow it to play, the video will get blocked. So I won't be playing all the Fallon Instagram live because of that. But there were moments on Instagram live where she said some deep things that I wanted to share. But I would have to chop it up. You will still hear what she have to say, but I will have to chop it up because, because if I allow it to play in its entirety with the music, you know the drill. So let's get into it. In case you missed what she said, the lady came up to tell Fallon bye and she said, I'm going to let you be booed up with your boo, okay? And this is not Jalen. No, you know what? So that now you know what it's basically okay girl stop you know you're going too far like my boo chill okay i'm just vibing basically i never said i had a boo i'm just vibing i'm just having a great time and that's that but she did say y'all look so cute and fallon said thank you and then fallon did kiss this guy at the end of the instagram live okay so let's talk about this part first before we get into the other deep things that she shared on this instagram live now this is the part that half people say in the phallic girl go heal and take some time okay so she's out at a house party having a great time her first we're going to get into that you know she's looking in his eyes you know having a conversation all right talking now she's gazing in his eyes she's you know nodding her head and look at that look that oh no oh no mm -mm. not on life girl don't do it yep she did it yeah she did it on instagram live and it was just like girl even if you're just having fun and he's not your man why you had to do that on instagram live i mean she did say a week or so ago that she was gonna have a hot girl summer and going to be a hot girl so where am i going um to be a hot girl duh no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a couple of errands to run. Before I give my opinion about this, this is what Fallon had to say just a week ago when she was asked certain questions about being single, giving love a try again, having more kids, and basically doing things for yourself. I'm good. How are you guys doing? I am so good. Thank you for asking. Um, how do you navigate heartache while co-parenting? That's a good question. Um, stay focused on what it is that you have to do for the day. You know, do little by little. Don't overwhelm yourself, which is very important. Pray. Um, do start a routine, a new routine for yourself. Do something that makes you feel good about you and for you. Um, and take some time. Don't forget to take some time to yourself. There's no, um, there's no reason to ever feel guilty for taking a couple of days to yourself. You know, to to be able to be the best person that you can be for yourself and your children. Um, as much as I love my kids and I love showing up for them, um, I also had to remember that there is no shame or guilt in um, self love and taking time for myself to be able to process um, everyday life's trials and tribulations. <laughs> because if I don't, then I'm going to go nuts. So um, that's exactly what I've just been doing. I've been taking time to myself that I haven't done for myself in years. Um, so it felt good, but now, you know, I went on a little vacay, now I'm back on the grind. Am I open to dating again? You guys know I'll never say no to love. Eva, I am a hopeless romantic, okay? And one thing about the love bug is that it loves to bite me. One thing I'll never do is live this life as if I'm going to be here forever. I believe in living life, especially now, um, like it's your last. Um, and... I'm unapologetic about it. Will I have more children? Probably. Any regrets? Not a one. Nope. 
Thank you, sweetheart. Now, I'm not saying because Fallon is kissing this man on Instagram Live, they're about to just drive off into the sunset and live happily ever after, okay? She could have simply just been at this house party, having a great time, enjoying her weekend. No big deal was on Instagram Live. He came up on her. Instead of her putting the phone down or cutting off her Instagram Live, you know, she gave the person that she's currently entertaining a kiss. Like I said, it doesn't mean that they're about to live happily ever after. And oh my goodness, she just introduced a new man. However, when you broadcast it on Instagram Live and you are just engaged to somebody else and the relationship just ended, then of course you know the internet and people are going to talk, especially the way how everything happened in the other relationship and i said this you can go back and listen to all of my videos in the beginning i said it the simon the porsche the fallon all of them moved on too fast however but i also say in those videos you know what they're adults do what you want to do i can't sit here and preach to people and tell them how to go heal and how to handle their lives and how to live their life but yes i did say that everything just happened too fast and it's okay to take time for yourself so when you listen to that instagram live clip that i included from last week about taking time for yourself healing so that you are able to be there for your children and be strong and all of that everyone was like yes girl good job Fally. great co-parenting taking time for yourself you know you need more than a couple of days but i get it you know the children all of that but taking time for yourself, you know, living your life, doing things that make you happy and all of that. So everyone was like, yes, she's on the right track. You go, girl, do your thing. And I'm not saying because you had a night of fun and, you know, you're kissing a new guy means that you're still not on that right track. I'm just saying that you can't be shocked when social media reacts a certain way when it was your choice to pick up the phone and broadcast it on social media you can't be shocked that people are going to you know repost it or talk about it i don't think it shocks fallon and that's the reason why she does not allow the comments and people opinions to get to her and she's living her life and all of that but to see this on instagram live people were just like okay girl like what are you doing so hopefully you know fallon is still doing everything she said in that instagram live from last week and she was just out having fun doesn't mean like i said she's getting married tomorrow <laughs> to somebody new so that's that i also do want to talk about the part where she said that you know she's a hopeless romantic and one thing about the love bug and love to bite her and all of that all of those things are beautiful living her life as she pleased i guess her last and you know she doesn't care what people have to say and she doesn't live for society you know norms and all of that i completely understand i get it she's an adult do your thing however there's absolutely nothing wrong with just taking that moment taking a breather and just being there and with fallon mentally and all of that because you are about to say i do hopefully forever so there are still feelings there there are still healing that needs to happen there are still things that needs to be unpacked so when you take that into a new situation and you do not allow yourself to fully heal it leads to chaos sometimes and that's the reason why sometimes at work now there's always exception to the rule yes there's sometimes people move on really fast and 50 60 years later they're still married but for the most part, it doesn't work because you did not give yourself that time that you needed to just process everything that just happened. But I said, I'm not going to sit here and assume that just because this young single woman went out to have fun, like the other people that I posted, having fun, dancing, having a great time. That's exactly what she was doing excluding the part where you know <laughs> she's kissing this guy but i'm not going to say just because she kissed somebody you know i'm going to sit here and preach a sermon to her this sunday about take time for yourself and go heal maybe she is doing all of those things and she's not in a relationship with this person and she was just out having a great time and so because of that i won't preach any more about it but what i will say it is okay to live your life and do all of the things that you're doing but to keep certain things off social media but 
to be fair, she didn't go chasing this guy around to try to prove, look at me, I moved on, hey, I'm with somebody, no. <laughs> she was sitting there having her conversation for a very long time, almost an hour. This kiss happened all the way at the end. She was about to say bye, they were about to leave and all of that. And the moment she was looking in his eyes like that, she could have cut the Instagram life off right there and nobody would have seen that kiss but i do believe that fallon is in the headspace of even when i do not do anything i mind my business i'm not bothering anybody i'm not dragging anybody i'm not doing anything that is making anyone's life miserable i'm not harming anyone i still get dragged anyway so you know what i'm living my life and I'm not going to shut my Instagram life off because someone I'm currently entertaining came up and showed me love and is giving me a kiss. I'm going to keep my Instagram life on. I'm going to keep having my conversations. And whatever these people want to say, let them say. Because guess what? I get dragged for doing absolutely nothing anyways on the daily. So what's done is done. But overall, I am wishing Fallon the best. I'm wishing her the best on her healing journey and all of that. I know I have to cut it up and jump in because of the music. But someone wrote in the comments, try for Chris Brown. And she responded, no. Chris Brown split in my DMs um, not, not that long ago. And no, I'm, I'm not interested. 100% believe that because Chris Brown has a type. I mean, most of them, I have included images on the screen. Is he going to admit it? That is, if anyone captured this, excluding me, is going to put it on the blog pages because I just posted on YouTube, okay? Or is he going to deny it now that she broadcasted it? But, you know, someone did leave the try for Chris Brown comment. People keep forgetting that these are people lives, okay? This is not a game and this is not let me one up another person because we are aware that yes, Simon and Portia are attention seekers. Absolutely. And it's all about I upgraded and look at what I'm doing with my life now. I'm more popular and more famous than you. I get posted on the blog pages. Who are you? Even her ex-husband referred to her ex-fiance as the help. Okay. So now you have people suggesting that she try for Chris Brown, not because Chris Brown is going to be a great fit for her, okay? But because Chris Brown, regardless of his history and everything that has happened that will forever be attached to him, they just want her to be attached to someone more famous than the fame and attention seeking Portia and Simon. Simon is Fallon's ex husband. For those of you who don't know the story, she was married to Simon. Allegedly, Simon started cheating with Portia. She left Simon, and Simon is now married to Portia. Okay, in a nutshell, that's what it is. All right, so they just want her to get him mad because fame is what he's seeking, and to him, Portia embodies that and oh my goodness I got my dream and then to wake up one day and see your ex-wife plaster all over the blog pages all over the internet that she had a date with Chris Brown regardless of his history he will still get posted on all of the blog pages regardless if you agreed with her choices or not it is still chris brown so people are not even considering is chris brown in the headspace of anything serious or is he just in a moment of girl i just want to have a good time you know what i'm saying so they don't even care that okay that's not what she's looking for she's looking for stability and all of that but girl just get with chris brown one time to get those people mad oh, yes maybe i'm doing too much with that simple comment but i'm just saying why would you suggest chris brown chris brown to me is in the headspace i don't know chris brown personally but to me chris brown's in the headspace i'm young i'm having fun i'm on tour i'm doing my thing family on the other hand is having fun as well but she's also looking for stability so i'm not sure but who's there to say that 
he wouldn't be a great fit for her. I'm only responding this way based on Fallon's body language and the way how she responded. And all of this is allegedly. Now, Fallon don't have any reason to just randomly say, oh, Chris Brown's in my DM or lie. And Fallon is a drop-dead gorgeous woman. She has a beautiful soul. She's a hopeless romantic, like she said. And hopefully, you know, she can work on that because, you know, she falls in love quickly. And then sometimes it doesn't end well. That doesn't make her a bad person. She she loves love, okay? So I don't for one second is going to sit here and say Chris Brown would not slide in a beautiful woman DM, okay? So I believe that, but I'm still going to say allegedly. But I'm responding this way based on her reaction that why would you suggest chris brown but i don't know chris brown personally to be like oh he wouldn't be a great man for her or he's not willing or ready to settle down with someone that i mean he have children she have children who knows but i'm just saying based on her body language and her reaction she was just like girl i'm looking for stability i left one marriage and within two seconds i had a ring meaning she was engaged to Jalen after her situation and her marriage with Simon in it and of course I'm just being silly it wasn't two seconds but yeah so she strikes me as someone that is looking for that type of stability not right now probably because she just got out of that situation and she's just having fun and having a great time and working on herself and healing but people just want Fallon to pop out okay just pop out one good time just to get her ex mad that's when you know you have 100% fully moved on when you don't care about things like that compared to the other people who were posting 150 times when she announced her breakup with her ex-fiance trying to prove how happy they were while she's over here no I'm not accepting dms and let me take you out on a date from Chris Brown or anyone else because I'm not living my life for those people they moved on I'm happy for them do your thing and I'm happy over here living my life. I'm not checking for them. Did she say, like, I'm not a tour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is real life for me. I'm not in competition with anybody. I don't care what those people have going on over there. And I do believe the people making suggestions, everybody means well, okay? They just saw how she was degraded and disrespected by her ex-husband who feels like he has this status and everyone else is beneath him. And now that he's married to Portia Williams, oh, you know, he has fame now. It's even bigger. And they just want her to prove that, I mean, look at me. I can get any man I want. And since her ex-husband is seeking fame, girl, just pop out what time. Be over to the blog page, just get him mad. And she's just like, child, I have a life to live. I don't care about any of that. But let me answer your question. Yes, famous people are in my DMs. And if I wanted that life, I could have that life but I've been there done that I have my own money I have lived that lifestyle all of that and right now I'm not into any of that as long as he respects me treat me and my kids well and all of the good things that comes with an amazing man then I'm here for it whether he's famous or not because that's not what I'm seeking so I'm here for it and also one thing I like about her is even though it's okay to take time for yourself and heal and all of that I do love that she doesn't live her life for the I told you so people because those type of people they want to please a bunch of strangers so bad and fit in so much that they will stay in miserable relationships just to prove that I told you so people wrong. And I commend her for being able to say, I'm not happy here. So if we are not happy together, we can both go our separate ways and have a nice life. Whether if it was her or the man doing the breaking up, but the ability to move on and say, you know what? What's done is done. I'm not going to dwell on it. And I'm also not going to stay in something that no longer serves me just to prove a bunch of strangers wrong you know and i told you so people wrong so i commend her for that but she did say exactly what i'm saying right now what she's looking for and that chris brown isn't what she's looking for but i would have to jump in and out again i'm sorry for sounding repetitive because of the music let's get into that chris brown split in my dms um not not that long ago and no i'm i'm not interested no i'm looking for Type of man. Ain't that. You two 
truth is very sensitive now so i'm choosing my words wisely so please hang in there with me so when i say you know chris brown history if you get what i'm trying to say then you get it okay fallon is also a survivor of that so that could also be the reason why she's like i understand people change and life goes on and everything happened a while ago but you know what i'm good okay well fallon was on instagram live for almost an hour but this video is almost over 20 minutes long i did not intend for this part to be this long so i'll be back with a part two and also because i have to really take time to break it down into little pieces due to the music in the background i mean she normally does an instagram live like you saw the video i added from last week doing her makeup where there's no music and you can just play the entire life in peace and not say anything but this one was tough because i had to keep jumping in and out but anyways i'm wishing fallon well on her healing journey i'm wishing all of you well and take care I love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless